Man, the Yankees really love to break our hearts, don't they? Coming off a big one yesterday in which the pitching was outstanding. Rodon on the mound today with a chance to redeem himself. Yankees with an opportunity to win a series against the Astros. And of course, they break our hearts. Of course they lose. And this loss was brutal twofold. One, you have Rodon sucking, and I'll get to that in a second. Astros take a huge lead early on. And then the Yankees fight back in the fourth, tie the game up, and then Houston scores four in the sixth and just destroys us. So the Yankees split this series against Houston, much like our series last year against Houston. Remember when we split that series at home and Judge had the walk off and Aaron Hicks had the game tying home run and we're thinking, oh wow, the Yankees, you know, we're gonna really take it to Houston in the postseason. Of course we got swept! Don't worry, we're not gonna get swept by Houston this year in the playoffs, because we're not gonna make the playoffs. I don't know about Houston, they probably will, but I know we will not be there to join them. Because this team has too many problems, starting with, well not starting with, but the main problem today, Rodon sucks. He's got a 7.33 ERA. The man just gives out home runs like it's Oprah giving away cars. Just home run over and over again. Two home runs today. One in the top of the second, one in the top of the third. Um, one to Myers. And Jake Myers just killed us today. Usually, it, it, and we were mostly able to keep Alvarez and, uh, uh, Altuve in check. But no, Jake Myers comes in to fill his shoes. It's a massive three-run home run in the top of the second. And then Jordan Alvarez in the top of the third with a two-run shot. Makes it 5-1. Rodon immediately uh, after that starts having some sort of pain. He exits the game. They say it's left hamstring tightness. I wouldn't be surprised if he's had this problem for two months now and the Yankees are just finding out about it. Of course you send this guy out there with a bad back. He's probably still hurt. But this brilliant medical staff doesn't know how to diagnose injuries. I don't know what's going on. I hope that that's the reason that it's just he's injured and that the Yankees are incompetent with their training staff as opposed to he just got his money and just started to suck. I would hate that. But man, this has been such a disappointment watching Rodon. We all had such high expectations watching him. We all thought that this was the... Remember when we got him in the offseason and we all thought, this is the guy. We have the best rotation in baseball. And he, it has been a struggle for him so far, but today he had a chance to redeem himself in the Yankees fans' eyes. He had a chance to win the fans over. He took the fans off with blowing a kiss to the stands. And he had a chance to win them over today, and he failed. Whether it's just bad pitching or whether it's he's hurt. I don't know what it is. All I know is last season in 178 innings, he gave up 12 home runs. This year, in 26 innings, he's given up, 20, uh, 27 innings, he's given up eight home runs. And just want to point out that we spent $162 million on this guy. We could have spent that money on, I don't know, a left fielder or some left-handed bats. Something that could have actually fixed this team instead of what we're watching here from Rodon. But no, Brian Cashman and his infinite wisdom, it's like, sure, give all the money to Rodon and nothing to anyone else except Judge. Great job, Cash, you son of a bitch. I hope it's a health thing for Rodon and not a performance thing. Because if it is, we are staring at Carl Bovano 2.0. Then the craziest thing happened in the bottom of the fourth inning. The Yankees actually decided to score runs. And mainly it had to do with the Astros' horrible pitching. You had Torres reach on an infield single. Then you have your Quiddy give up back-to-back -back walks to LeMahieu and IKF. And then Harrison Bader with a single into left, scoring Glaber. It's 5-2. Your Quiddy comes in. They bring in Maton. And he hits Volpe with a pitch, walks Bowers, and walks Judge, and the game is tied at five. Yankee fans are electric. They're going nuts. Oh my gosh, somehow this team doing almost nothing. Tied the Astros, comes back from four runs down. This is it. We're going to come back. We're going to win this game. Of course we don't! Lucy with the football again. Because Wandy Peralta, for some reason they have Wandy Peralta go in there and give up at-bats to six... Righties in a row, it seemed like. Don't understand that at all. But yeah, for some reason, they just keep having him throw to righties. And he gives up a home run to Jake Myers. Three run shots. And then right after that, we have a home run from Martin Mal Maldonado. It's 9-5 Houston. The first time in Wandy Peralta's Yankee career that he's given up multiple home runs in appearance. Because of course... I guess that's my one issue. I know it was a bullpen game after that, but boom, you're going to let this guy go to this many righties? 
I don't know. You couldn't have brought Middleton out there a little bit earlier. You have this new guy out there. Why not bring him out there? Come on. The Yankees did score one run after that, the Glaber RBI double. But the Yankees lose this one in heartbreaking fashion because we actually scored a lot today. We scored six runs. Yeah, most of it wasn't our reason, but but we got six runs off six hits. Glaber today, fantastic. Three hits, man. I, I've, I've enjoyed watching this man this year. Three hits for Glaber, improved his batting average to 270. Two hits from Bader, but the pitching really killed it today. And Rodon's failure, it, I think, um, I don't know who, I, I think it was Derek who tweeted this out. Apologies for, for somebody else, but I think I'm a, I'm a lot of recaps tweeted this out today. He says, with Rodon and Sevy starting, it feels like we're punting 40% of our games. And yet, when you're in a playoff chase, when you're trying to fight for a playoff spot and you have those two guys out there every five days, that's an issue. Those just feel like two automatic losses. It's gotten so bad now that Yankee fans are praying for Frankie Montez to get back. Think about that for a minute. Frankie Montez. Yankee fans are starting to look forward to his return. That is a sad, sad state to this team. Imagine telling Yankee fans that back last December or whatever when we got Rodon. Hey, you're going to be really excited to see Frankie Montez back. It is... This season just continues to get worse and worse and worse. I can't say the Yankees didn't try today. They, they put in an effort, and they still faltered. And our wildcard chances get worse and worse. We are now four and a half back. Damn it. And you now got to hope and pray that this team is able to. At least we're not the worst team in the American League East. Um, at least we didn't have the biggest choke job today. Thank you, U.S. women. But... Still a sad, sad performance. A good series overall, as heck, compared to what we thought it was going in. I am shocked that we won two games. If you told me that heading into the series, we would have won two games. I would have absolutely taken that. But the way it happens is heartbreaking, and it doesn't help us gain any ground on the wild card. We still have a long, long way to go. At least we get the White Sox next. Oh, who am I kidding? They'll probably beat us two out of three. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a news channel you like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow. It's Yankees White Sox game one with our ace Garrett Cole. And can we clone Garrett Cole four times? Can we just have this man start every day? The only chance that anyone out there has a cloning machine. Please give it to the Yankees so that we can have five Garrett Coles start. That's the only way we're gonna make the playoffs. Take care and God bless.